Greetings, I'm Demonac, and it's arena time. So my shaman deck has found its way down to sudden death again, which Sophie recommended we call bloodied. And I think that's calling this state bloodied is pretty good, although sudden death also makes a lot of sense. It's traditionally what they call it in tournaments, so probably use both. But yeah, definitely got bloodied by the stupid dog combo in that last one. game was not exactly under control, but I was just getting it back under control by building up an army, which, of course, caused me to be doomed. So, and you wonder why they nerfed the birds. So we have a druid. Druids are pretty scary, because they have so many good cards, like, in terms of fatness. Okay, this is not the ideal starting hand. We're definitely not keeping both shocks. You... you I think we're keeping Feral Spirit means I probably want to get rid of... Let's save Frost Shock for later for sure. This could be useful, but I'm even wondering, should I get rid of the Fort Lightning or keep the Fort Lightning and get rid of the Earth Shock? Fort Lightning totally eats like their turn too much time early in the game. Probably regret it, but either way, I need to pitch at least two cards to get more stuff. This is... It may be a spell, but I mean, it's two minions. It's pretty awesome. But I still needed to fill out my hand a bit more. Get in there and fight, maggot. Okay. So I could earth shock him. I could coin out a totem, which seems pretty silly. Got the ancestral healing you go with my uh, Yeti again, which is potentially good. I should probably just take the damage from this guy. I do have the mana now to earth shock him, but it's I don't know. We'll see how bad an idea it is to give him any chance whatsoever. Pretty bad. <laughs> it's time for a little blood. On the other hand, Earth Shocking that guy doesn't kill him, but it does prevent a lot of heartache. Nice to get him out. Now, I could coin out the wolves. That would leave me with basically no mana next turn, but I'd have the two threes out there. Hmm. Like, it, it's really bad play in most ways, except that for fighting this stuff, it'd be fine, because I'd have one mana left to Earth Shock this guy after he intentionally damages himself. Uh, I could just make a totem. I wonder... I don't like this position at all. I do kind of wish I'd earth shocked him now, but then I wouldn't have something to deal with him. I'd be wishing I hadn't earth shocked. I think I'm just gonna make a totem and see what it comes out. So that earth shock would do two damage. That's still not especially exciting. Okay, we're gonna coin out probably him. If you, if you wrath him to draw a card, I'll be sad. Okay. Leaving that alive is not good. He's wisely killing the totem. Also not good. Alakir the Windlord. Not too helpful this second. Killing her would be super nice. I mean, it wouldn't be very nice to her, but it would be nice. No, I think, I think I'm going to stick with the plan. I'm going to coin out the taunt. This is such an interesting card, because it's free. It doesn't buff at all. Except if for some reason you take damage and don't die, it can do a lot. And of course you can attack, like, like last time, you can use it on your own turn, and then it's pretty strong. Because it's, like it's like controlling a secret, right? The fact that I can use that to my best advantage, and then full heal the thing, and give it to it. So... That is a lot of power of the wild. Now it still takes two guys to get through this. He's going to use him, who will then be earth shockable. He's like, ah, oh, he's huge now. Yes. The lightning bolt is also good, so I could kill more stuff, but. 
Well, the Wolves are only going to be 3-2, or 2-3. I mean, they actually don't fight that stuff very well. So I, I was thinking Wolves in Earthshock, but no, that's actually not going to work out too well. So let's make a totem and see what we get. Not spell damage? Okay, it's fine. And then... We're going to kill him for sure. If I kill one of them, I'll still have four mana next turn to play a Yeti, I guess. If I kill the bigger one, or the one that's giving him free mana? The thing is, he's used up most of his cards. How bad is that free mana? I think I need to get rid of the damage from that guy. Leaving this alive is bad. Like, I'm giving my opponent a free coin every turn. <sighs> He played a six mana guy, I'd be really worried, but since he played that, it means he can't do anything else. This is still not good. Surprising I can have so many cards in my hand to be so unhappy with the situation. So you're at full health, probably that plus Kung Fu, yeah. Makes sense. Keeping board control and you still have, you can still cast a 5 mana minion because of this stupid. And you do, and she heals the untargetable guy. Awesome. This is really bad. is really bad. Should I frost shock one of those guys so it can't attack? Because I can make the feral spirits. They'll all just get their asses kicked. If I frost shock her, then she'd be in death range for them, but they're both going to get killed by these guys anyway. If I frost shock her, then she can't attack for one turn. Doesn't really help me that much, does it? But next turn I'm going to have even less mana. It would kill, keep one taunt alive, which I could then flame tongue, presumably. I think I'm going to frost shock her. Because things are that bad. I foresee the possibility of this guy taking two damage from this, and then I flame tongue the taunt totem and kill him. That is an eventuality which could, e could easily happen. Oh, so bad! Drawing extra cards. Not getting a whole lot of use out of the mana from that thing, but it's still causing me problems. Oh, man. I can flame tongue and then kill him with this, but I'm not getting anything resembling a head. Hmm. Play this and draw a card. I've already used pretty much all my one mana cards. These guys are going to kick my ass, and if I play him and don't draw a perfect like one mana kill something card, which I, if I have any left, probably in trouble. So I think my best bet is to flame tongue this, kill that guy. And then afterwards make a totem and hope I get another taunt totem, because that's how bad my situation is. Nope. Although this can kill her, potentially. It won't, because it'll get kung fu but... No, I'm just screwed. Can't play the Windlord. Oh, actually, my mana should unlock next turn, so I could play the Windlord. Is he that great? Not really doing the job. Now, I can do the Ancestral combo on him. That might help a little. I guess what we'll do is we'll draw a card. Alakir can, like, kill this, or he can kill this and end up at, like, one health. 
and he takes all my mana. I can't afford to do that. I think I got a draw the card. Pass me the heart -like banner. That's not gonna do it. So I could play him and Ancestral him, which means I wouldn't have the combo for this guy, which sucks, but then I would have the 2-4 taunt. Now he's not going to do anything anyway. That it, it really doesn't matter. I'm so boned. So just play this guy. He still takes two attacks to get rid of, probably, unless this two damage hits him. I'm probably just going to die regardless. But this guy doesn't do any better, really. So, yeah, actually, this guy is just as well. I'm not going to taunt this up. It, it wouldn't make that much difference, I don't think. It'd be nice to be able to do this next turn, but... I don't think it really matters. Oh, nice. Silenced and I die. So, it doesn't matter. Two games in a row did not go well there. We golden totemic might. All right. See if I get any crazy legendaries or something. I'm assuming not. From the pack, obviously, I'm gonna get some small amount of gold here. It does help to defray my costs. Nothing useful there. So just to pad out the video so it's not as obvious that I got crushed. I'm going to continue trying out my uh, Hunter deck. Now I'm, I'm actually going to go casual because I still don't know what I'm doing with this deck very well. This is a deck that has all kinds of secrets and it's really based on sort of killing them mostly with attrition with Steady Shot and just clearing the board all the time. And again, I think the concept is pretty solid, but I think it's a very different play style, and i got to just keep practicing it to try and learn what the hell I'm supposed to be doing. It's funny, this deck was not using the birds and therefore not affected by the nerf. Because the theory is I shouldn't let there be enough enemy minions out there to benefit too much from that stuff. Um, maybe keep the multi-shot and pitch the kill command. Kill command is much more flexible later on. Deadly shot, okay. Probably rather have deadly shot than kill command in my starting hand, because this deck has very few beasts, and kill command can be used as direct damage against my opponent, whereas this cannot. Okay, you were coining out what? Wild growth. Ah, so you perma coined, but you have less cards in your hand now. Interesting. I'm going to do I shoot or mad scientist. See, this is one of the things. I could start the attrition now, which would be great. But the mad scientist gives me something in play, and will give me something else in play when it dies. So I think I want to get one of them out at least. Because I do need board control in order to keep steady shotting my opponent who is going to try and outgrow the crap out of me. It's going to be a little bit of an ugly, strange set of turns. I'm just going to shoot him and start off like that. It's not like druids have mass silence, but I want to get this going. Every turn I don't play this, I'm oh, losing out on key element of damage. So he goes for the silence instead of the kill. Not unreasonable. Do I waste a hunter's mark on this guy? I think the Hunter's Mark is actually stronger than the Deadly Shot for me most of the time. I should be able to damage something. I'm thinking of using a Deadly Shot on this guy and just... Yeah. I could play this and shoot him and hit for two. Then he kills like one of these guys and still has his, but I might be able to get a multi-shot off. Yeah, you know what, maybe I'll do that. A more like aggressive here. This guy, I mean, he's just a 2-4 once he's in play. He's not a particularly valuable target. 
he can kill one of these guys and live, which is pretty obnoxious, but if it lets me multi-shot him down, that would be okay. Alright. Give me a secret. Will you raft this guy? That's a little bit obnoxious. What secret did I get? I got snipe. Okay. So I got eagle horn bow. Then I can't multi-shot. The multi shot's not killing this guy unless I Hunter's Mark him. I think I might do that. I hate that I don't get to play this this way, but... I mean, I could play this, hit him, and shoot. Then I'll probably get another use out of this with the secret, and I might get to multi-shot something else. Really, again, this deck is a whole different set of choices than I'm used to. I could also just play the Abomination now, because now he would kill all these guys. But they would kill him in the process. Is it worth losing him for that? I do have the Snipe going. I won't get the extra use out of this. You know what? He'll do pretty well, actually. Let's do that. I really, I should, if I was doing this, I shouldn't have, that was stupid. I should not have Hunter's Marks this guy. That was no. Moronic in hindsight. Unless that's how he got rid of him, in which case it actually worked out just fine. Almost any other circumstance, my Hunter's Mark was a stupid move. So that was randomly random. I hunt alone. It did not see that coming. No, because I think under almost any other circumstance, without the Hunter's Mark, it would still have taken both his guys to take down my thing. And even if he did it in such a way that his troll survived, like he used other stuff to finish him off, the troll would take some damage and then be vulnerable to multi-shot. So this might be a good thing to silence. But not really, because I can just deadly shot it. Leroy has been nerfed. He used to be four mana, and I could play him now, and I could have worked out something, but for now we'll just, like, keep attacking. I don't think I want to play this... Uh, do I want to play this? He's down to 13. I'm, if I play this guy, I lose the flexibility of using him with multi-shot to do even more damage. But I gain the potential to get that killing blow. I think i got to play him and be more aggressive in terms of the killing my opponent area. If he can survive Kung Fu on its own. Goes for the health. Interesting. He was low enough that the health could help out. That's why I played this guy, because he was so low. Could Hunters mark him? He'll do one damage to my own guy, but it'll... Oh, wait, wait a second. What am I complaining about? This is like the combo. Oh, sorry, I forgot. Not thinking. Oh, I should have Leroyed first. He would have taken one damage, but it would have killed the guys. Ah, stupidity. Well, now I'll just shoot him. Yeah, no, if I Leroyed first, then I would have... I gotta hit him for six, and then I would still have the six-one Leroy out there. That would be awesome. I must safeguard the man. That would be not awesome. Why do you have to do that? He's gonna draw three cards. That's horrible. It's not a good target for this. Not a great target for misdirection. Although it will refresh my bow. We're gonna play it anyway. You'll never expect it. Um, do I Leroy him and maybe the misdirection will mess him up? There's no way it'll mess him up enough. No, next turn I could Leroy and then multi-shot potentially or something mm -hmm. dumb like that. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to let it go. So he hits himself for two. Which is not a big deal. Although it does give me another use on this. Still got a target out there. Now I can multi-shot, but it's not going to kill much. Like, anything. Ooh, that's no good. 
Explosive trap. That is good. So I think we're going to silence this and multi shot. you and shoot you and trap. At this point the trap's damage to the player is relevant. And of course I have a Leroy in my pocket. Would I be better or worse off if I had cleverly used him with my pyro play? Interesting question. Oh you chose not to go for taunt. Well, that was a mistake, because I can just kill you with my bow, even. Do you have some plan to not die to the bow? Oh, you do? Okay. See, that makes more sense. Not going to save you. But how can you know that I have a Leroy in my hand? Except that everyone always has a Leroy in their hand. Oh, wow. I don't even have... I could Leroy through this and then just kill him with my bow, but now I can just do this. Leroy still the king. Like, literally, French for the king. But anyway, well, the, that deck, see, it's interesting to me, because it's different than how I normally play, for sure. It's different than how I normally play Hunter. It presents a lot of choices, but the real choices I'm interested in are going to be back in the arena next time. Please click the like button before it clicks you. And check out Tales from My D&D Campaign on youtube.com slash demonex.